You're a hero, man. You will never pay for another drink as long as you live. There is all kinds of crazy news people out here. It's a circus, man. Come on, check this out, man. It's all for you. Classic hero worship. You're a, you're, you're, you're a rock star, man. Oh, check out this video. This is outside your condo. It's a zoo. It's crawling with reporters. Let's see, check this out. So you do know Captain Whitaker, you're my friends. Oh, yeah. Yes, he's my brother. That's me. I said a few words, you know, mostly straight talk. Oh. You okay, Captain Whitaker? The meds are giving me, they're messing me up. I'm all shaky and dried out. I can't sleep good. Yeah. What the hell kind of meds are giving you? A Prazolam. That's generic Xanax, hydrocodone, that's generic Vicodin, probably Canadian. Where's the dihydromorphinone? Is this amateur hour? Get that oh. doctor in here. You just saved a hundred people. All in. What? You bring my smokes? Yes, I did. I got your message and yes, I got your smokes right here. Here's a fresh carton. Hell, if I was you, I'd fire up right here in the game room. What's going on, man? Long time no see. Yeah. It's good, man. <laughs> you staying These busy, man. Yeah, yeah, man. You're staying on the big screen still. Yeah, I'm, 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 uh, it's been a been a pretty good year. Yeah, it's been a good year. It's also a very good movie. I, I liked it. I like. Thank you. Yeah, all the characters very complex, very interesting. I like the fact that the movie always stayed a couple of steps ahead of me. I like being challenged. Yeah. I like watching that unfold. Yeah, I like the way I like the way Bob did that. It's uh, he's a he's a hell of a storyteller. Yeah, he's fantastic, man. I mean, he just he just lets it glide. But I mean, this has got an incredible cast, man, and the, the chemistry between you and Denzel was just amazing. It's always great to work with him because he's a total professional and uh, he's interesting to watch. You know, he's always going to do something interesting. How much did having to shoot this movie fairly quickly, by Hollywood standards, help with that like sort of kinetic energy? Did you guys seem to have? You know, I didn't really notice that. I I, I just. I got in and did my stuff, then I had to wait a couple months to, to come in and finish it out. And there's just, just no rhythm to it, it's just the fact that you had broken the ice with them before just really helped you. Yeah, it, it helps a lot. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. This, what's, what's your take on this guy? I mean, some very interesting perspectives. Of course, everyone sort of has this slightly hidden agenda, yeah. but on the surface they seem to want to do good for one another. Well, he's a, he's a control freak. I mean, he. he uh, I think that's maybe one of his problems. He thinks he can control everything. Everything's going, to, everything's going to be fine just by force of his willpower. And things don't work like that. The world don't work like that. You need a little help. And uh, slowly everything around him shuts down. Then he gets people that are trying to help him, but they're helping him for the wrong reasons. And they're not how they wind up not helping him much at all. Yeah, I, I like that because this is very, very realistic in that way. You know how the characters speak to one another and how things play out like they do in real life. Because it's not all nip tuck and nice and clean and, and easy going. Or you know, it's not that at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, pretty ambiguous. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Now I want to ask you for just sake of having to throw this question out there, what's one of the worst experiences you've ever had on an airplane? Uh, first time I ever went on an airplane, I was a with a kid my own age, I was about 18 years old, he'd learn how to fly, and he thought he'd be cute by pulling stalls and turning the engine off. <laughs> and I didn't want to go back up in an airplane for a long time after that. I, I, <laughs> how I long thought did it, I was going to die. How long did it take you to get back up? Uh, the first time somebody, it actually took probably about six or seven years, and that wow. was somebody else had to pay for a flight. So it really truly had an impact and an effect. Yeah, I, did, I have no interest in going up there. Is it easy for you now? Yeah, it. Uh, I, yeah, I've surrendered a lot of control. I. Uh, it it makes me. This whole movie makes me uh, appreciate what pilots do because if they're doing a great job, you don't even know they're there. That's a great way to end the conversation. I appreciate it, man. Keep up the good work. Don't forget to click on one of the arrows to see our most commented videos. Now, there, there might be a lot of people in the African American community that don't like this character. But they better not act like that person doesn't exist. Because like you said, they right there in the house or they up the block or they Uncle Boo Boo 